bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, I'm Sabrina Register. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We're here at City Year headquarters in Seattle, and I'm joined today by Tim Hanstad, who is CEO of Rural Development Institute. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me, Sabrina. For those who don't know, Rural Development Institute, what is its mission? Who does it serve? Yeah, we're an international nonprofit organization. Based uh, in? Based in Seattle. Okay. We work uh, serving the rural poor around the world. Uh, our mission is to secure land rights for the rural poor and we do that by partnering with governments and and others to design and implement land laws and policies and programs that provide opportunity that advance economic growth and that promote social justice so you are helping a whole lot of people because as everybody knows there are a lot of people who live on very little a day let us know, you know, how many people are we talking about here? It's, it's a very large number. About 3.4 billion people around the world live on less than two dollars a day. Which Dif is hard for a lot of us to actually fathom when very, you think about it. Very difficult for those of us living in the United States to fathom that. Actually about 1.4 billion are living on less than a dollar a day. And it's also um, little known that three quarters of those people live in rural areas. So the poorest of the poor, most of them are, are in rural areas where land is the most important asset. It's a source of shelter, it's a source of income, food security, food, sure. nutrition, um, political power, access to credit, access to government services. So their survival depends on it. Exactly. So what do you do for these people? We work at the system level. That is. We know that of those 1.4 billion people, that uh, three quarters of them being in rural areas, and most of those are landless, or if they have land, they don't have secure rights to the land that, they ha that they're on. So rather than working with one family or one community at a time, we partner with the governments to try to change the laws, change the policies, change government programs that can, in a very leveraged, and large-scale way provide them with access to land and strong rights to the land. I would imagine depending on the country you run into a bit of red tape, roadblocks? Red tape for sure. Working with governments is not always um, easy. It's and I would imagine some are tougher or more challenging than others. Some are more challenging than others, just like people are. But um, we feel it's the, it's the best way to achieve change in a leveraged way. And in the end, land rights are provided by governments. Governments define what land rights are. They have the institutions that protect those land rights. So if you're going to achieve large-scale change and getting at the root of poverty, and landlessness certainly is one of those root causes of poverty, you almost have to work with government. Are you focusing on certain countries? Yeah, our target geographies are China, India, and Sub-Saharan Africa. Within Sub-Saharan Africa, we uh, work in Rwanda, in Burundi, in Angola, Uganda. Um, but over the years, we've worked in 45 countries around the world and partnering with governments on reforms that have provided secure land rights to over 400 million people. And where do you get your funding? The funding comes from a variety of sources, foundations, uh, individuals, and uh, fee-for-service contracts. Uh, about 70% from foundations, uh, about 25% from fee-for-service income, and, and the rest from, from individuals. Are you finding it tough to secure funding in this economic climate? Well, the climate's gotten more difficult, certainly, um, although we, uh, we've had success and recent success. We had a fundraiser, for example, last month where we raised twice as much as the fundraiser the year before. Um, so it's, it's a difficult environment, but people are becoming more and more aware of the issue of land rights, and that has worked in our favor. It's helped uh, us get visibility. Great. Tim Hanstad, CEO of Rural Development Institute. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top of the hour.